Good morning, guys. Bitcoin overview. Yes, we could hit down to $30,000. I'm not just throwing that out there, but let's look at the breaking news first. Buying the dip, MicroStrategy. These guys are buying Bitcoin like crazy. They just purchased another 10 million of Bitcoin at 43,000. So if you guys are like, man, I don't know if Bitcoin's gonna go down, it's just gonna go away. Well, hey, guess what? Big guys are buying the dip. So that should help maybe give you some confidence. Luxury yacht firm accepts Bitcoin, hosts mobile and web service on blockchain. Awesome. Still companies pushing forward. Let me show you more here. If you guys don't know what Glassnode is, it's an incredible um, analytics software showing you guys behind the scenes of what's happening besides just indicators on the chart. So this shows the transfers to exchanges. So the green shows when you go from, let's call it money in your wallet to the exchange. Why do you bring money to an exchange? You either do it to swap coins or you do it to sell your coins. Well, last time this happened, when we had a big drop here. We saw that people were actually buying this dip. Okay. We saw a transfer to exchange. Yes, people sold out, but the price rebounded after that. The price rebounded over here. I know I'm going into price prediction time here, but we're still in price prediction. I want to keep you on the chart here. So I'm looking for this. Something else I'm really looking at in here is I want you guys to look at this as well. It's called the reserve risk. This is showing you the confidence of long-term holders. So when the price is low and the confidence of long-term holders are high, we're down here in the green. So it's like, all right, we're down low in the price. The holders are holding. When we get up into this top red zone, the price has historically crashed up here. We are not at that high yet. So this is why people saying we still have a lot of bull market to go um, for Bitcoin. We are at this point right here. We're, we're dipping back down. Guess what happened right here? We came up, we dipped back down, and then we shot right back up. So it is not from this perspective done for a move up for the, the price action could still move up greatly. And that's why a lot of people are still bullish. Okay. Going over to the charts. I just recorded a masterclass last night, teaching you guys how I'm trading all this stuff. Cause I've gotten so many questions about that in that class. I was like, guys, we're going to get up here and we're going to break down. We're going to start dropping. It's exactly what's happening here. So when you're looking at this and you're looking at this last section of best buy entries, it's like, where the heck are we going to go? A lot of people are nervous. Here's my call. I'm not personally in Bitcoin because I'm I'm in ADA graph and EOS right now, but 41,201. This needs to be a place you guys are looking at. Obviously, it correlates to the left structure support over here. This is where a lot of people are looking to buy. So if it dips down back here, I am looking for kind of a saving grace, if you will, for Bitcoin to bounce back up. If it doesn't, the next place you have to look on the chart, and I'm being unbiased about this, is structure low. It's the next place the price is going to get catched visually on the chart. And that's exactly what I'm pulling down here is right around 30,000. It's also a psychological level. So guys, this could drop down. We need the trend dashboard to turn green on the 15100 and start seeing these turn green to get bullish. Bullish divergence on the RSI. So technically, it looks like we're due for a move back up, but we need to watch these indicators to see if when we start moving from red to green, and that will give us more confidence. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll keep you updated. God bless you, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.